Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, as you guys can see on the screen, the Prime Battle LR First Form Frieza's Extreme Z Awakening is going to be dropping on Global in about 19 days from now. So in the meantime, we have a chance to make all the necessary preparations and farm all the necessary units to take on his Extreme Z area event and uh, farm all of his Extreme Z Awakening medals to, you know, Extreme Z Awaken the Frieza. Okay, so in today's video, I want to give you guys a full comprehensive guide to get this guy done from start to finish. Now, one thing I will say is that this grind is probably going to be the most painful and time-consuming thing you could possibly do in the game up to this point. You know, like for people who haven't done anything yet, like you're starting from 0%, it's going to take you literally, I don't know, maybe like tens of hours worth of grinding, probably over the course of many days or many weeks or even months. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I think the Frieza is worth it because he is absolutely amazing. Like this guy actually rivals a lot of more recent summonable LRs, right? So the effort is definitely worth the reward, but with that being said, it still really, really sucks. Okay, so just make sure you're prepared for that. Make sure you're mentally like ready for this endeavor. And uh, with all that said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so before we, you know, talk about the Extreme Z Awakening, the first thing we have to start with is the Frieza himself, like how to get the Frieza to be Extreme Z Awakened, right? So let's pop over to his Prime Battle event. And this event can be completed with any decent free-to-play team, right? But the best team would be the increased drop or boost category team, which is Ginyu Force. So if you guys haven't farmed the free-to-play Ginyu Force team yet, then I highly recommend that you do that first before you continue this video because it's going to save you a lot of time in getting the medals and the dupes for the Frieza. Obviously, the choice is up to you if you would rather use a different team it's okay, it's doable, but it's just gonna take a lot longer, all right? So once you have your Ginyu Force team ready, then you wanna go through the levels one, two, and three, and then focus the majority of your time, the majority of your grinding on stage four, okay? Because while stage one can give you the copies of Frieza and stage three gives you the LR Awakening Medals, stage four can give you both the LR Awakening Medals and also copies of the Frieza. So it's like two birds, with one stone, right? So yeah, focus most of your grinding on stage four and you wanna get at least 14 copies of this SSR Frieza. And that's what the LR Frieza starts as. So as you can see, this is his TUR and this is his SSR form. So yeah, you wanna get 14 copies of this SSR Frieza from stage four. And once you have that, you wanna use 10 copies of the SSR Frieza to train a super attack 10 Frieza Z awaken him to UR status and then feed the other four Frieza's into his hidden potential paths or hidden potential roots. And at that point, you can also feed in the orbs to get him to rainbow status, right? And then you want to get 15 of these medals from stage two. These are the, uh, I guess, TUR medals to token awaken your Frieza to the TUR form. So at this point, you will have a rainbowed TUR Frieza, right? And then to token awaken your TUR Frieza to LR, you need 777 of these LR medals from either stage two, or sorry, stage three, or stage four of the event. Once again, I think stage four is the best just because it allows you to get both of these. So yeah, when you finally get 777 of the LR medals, you can token awaken your TUR Frieza to LR. So now you'll have a rainbow super attack 10 LR first form Frieza. And now you have to make a pretty tough decision between whether you want to be lazy or you want to be responsible. Basically, whether you want to use Elder Kai's or do some more farming to get him to super attack 20. Because the lazy way, the easy way, would be to just feed him 10 Elder Kai's or 10 STR Grand Kai's and get him to super attack 20 that way. But if you want to spend some more time and you want to farm a little bit more, or maybe a lot more, then you can also get a second copy of LR First Form Frieza to super attack 10 
and then feed him into your main first form Frieza, the rainbowed one, to get him to super attack 20 that way. So the choice is ultimately up to you. I'm not gonna say one is better than the other because I personally took the easy way just because, I mean, the process is so long overall, especially when it comes to Extreme Z awakening him that I can't really blame anybody for wanting to use Kai's here. Okay, so it's your call. Just do what you gotta do to get him to SA20, all right? So once you do that, you'll be done with him for now because we gotta move on to the Extreme Z awakening portion. And let's pop over to his Extreme Z area event, which once again is dropping on February 15th or about 19 days from now. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, you can still do this entire process. It's just that we don't know exactly when the Extreme Z area is gonna come back after this initial campaign, all right? So just like the Prime Battle Goku Extreme Z area, you're gonna need six specific characters on your team to challenge this event and they all need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened and also have their hidden potentials fully activated. Basically, they all need to be at 100% in the hidden potential system. And those six characters are the LR Prime Battle Super Saiyan Goku, the AGL Great A Bardock, the AGL Piccolo, STR Krillin, STR Kaioken Goku, and STR Kid Gohan. So basically, most of this video is just gonna be me explaining how to farm and Extreme Z Awaken all six of these units to, you know, get your team ready for the uh, Prime Battle Frieza Extreme Z Area event in a couple weeks. Now, one unit that I'm not gonna be explaining is this guy right here, okay? The LR First Form Frieza. And the reason, or sorry, uh, <laughs> the LR Super Saiyan Goku, my bad. Um, the reason I'm not gonna do that is because this guy is a whole other process on his own, okay? And that would make this video way too long, but the good thing is that I do have another video explaining how to get this guy's Extreme Z Awakening done. I'll put a link above my head. I think it's gonna be over there, so you guys can go check that out. So if you guys still need to get him done, then that's where I would start. And uh, yeah, just check out that video. It should help you throughout the entire process. Uh, one thing to note is that I did make a mistake regarding the Android 13. Um, explanation. Okay, so make sure to check out the pinned post or pinned comment on that video to get the correct explanation. All right, so with that said, I'm going to proceed through this video assuming that all of you guys have already completed the uh, Prime Battle Goku Extreme Z Awakening. And he's the main reason that this like Prime Battle Frieza Extreme Z Awakening, Extreme Z area is such a pain because this guy alone is going to take you like many, many many hours, you know? So moving on from the Super Saiyan Goku, let's talk about the Great Ape Bardock. Now, this guy is actually kind of annoying because he initially drops as not an SSR, but as an SR from the Bardock story event. I mean, it's better than before because he actually used to drop as an R, so at the very least now it's an SR, but it still kind of sucks because what you gotta do is awaken the SR to SSR status and then to UR status and then you can Extreme Z awaken him, okay? So the first step here is to farm 19 copies of this SR uh, Bardock from the Bardock story event and he's gonna be available through stage, let's see, stage eight of the Bardock story event, this one right here. By the way, there is a boost category and it is the giant form category. So as much as possible, bring giant form units on your team to give yourself uh, more drops per run, right? So yeah, farm 19 copies of this SR Bardock and you're gonna use 10 copies of the Bardock to train a Super Attack 10 Bardock and then use five copies to train a Super Attack 5 Bardock and then you have to use the other four for the hidden potential system, right? But since they're all SRs, you can't actually do that yet. So the next step would actually be to farm the Awakening Medals for these SR Bardocks. And you need three of each member or three medals for each member of Team Bardock for each copy, okay? So since you have to Token Awaken six copies, you're gonna need 18 of each of these medals. So for Fasha, Borgos, Shugesh, and Tora, you can get their medals through stage number one. And then for the Bardock medals, you need to actually go to stage uh, 10 of the event. So yeah, start with stage one, get 18 of each of these medals, 
and then go to stage 10 and get 18 of the Bardock medals. And then you want to token awaken all six copies of the Bardock. Once again, the Super Attack 10 1, the Super Attack 5 1, and also four additionals at Super Attack 1 for the hidden potential system. Okay, so token awaken all of them with your medals into this SSR Bardock. And then you can Z awaken your Super Attack 10 Bardock and your Super Attack 5 Bardock to UR status. And finally, feed in the extra dupes into your Super Attack 10 Bardock's hidden potential system. And also give him the AGL orbs to rainbow him. And from there, the last step before the Extreme Z Awakening is to token awaken both your Super Attack 10 and Super Attack 5 Bardocks to the TUR Bardock by giving them 10 of the uh, Bardock medals and also 10 of these first form Frieza medals, which you can get from stage, let's see, 7 of the Bardock Story event. Okay, so in total, you need 20 of these and also 20 more of these. So token awaken both of your Bardocks, and now we can go over to the Extreme Z area event to Extreme Z awaken your Super Attack 10 Bardock. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is the Extreme Z area event for the Grade 8 Bardock, and here is the list of characters you're allowed to bring for the event. As you can see, it's a little bit limited, but that's always the case for these Extreme Z area events. So once you build your team, of course, the uh, AGL Grade 8 Bardock is mandatory here. Then you can go over to the event itself. And on the Z hard difficulty, you can get the silver and bronze medals. And then on the super difficulty, you can get the gold and uh, rainbow Extreme Z Awakening medals. And in total, you need 15 bronze medals. You need 40 silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow to fully Extreme Z Awaken the Bardock. Okay, so take your Super Attack 10 Bardock through all the steps, and once you're done, he'll be at uh, level 140, and also at Super Attack 10. And then at this point, you can just directly feed your Super Attack 5 Bardock into your Super Attack 10 Bardock that's fully Extreme Z Awakened to get him to Super Attack 15 for free. Now obviously, if you don't care about your Kai's, or you have a lot of Kai's, then you don't have to actually farm the second copy of the Bardock at Super Attack 5. You can just get one copy, two Super Attack 10, and then fully Extreme Z Awakened, and then just use five Kai's to uh, max out his Super Attack. Actually, it's not even mandatory to get these units to max Super Attack level. They just need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened and rainbowed. So technically, you could just leave all of them at Super Attack 10, but since you're going through this process anyways, you might as well just max their super attack levels too, right? So there is the Grade 8 Bardock. He is now officially done and out of the way. And we're gonna move on to who is next, the AGL Piccolo. Okay, so the AGL Piccolo starts as this SSR Piccolo who's available through the Ginyu Force story event. So go over to the Ginyu Force story event and farm stage three. Okay, so stage three will give you both the copies of the AGL Piccolo and also his uh, orbs to rainbow him for free. So you don't have to actually use AGL orbs. He has his own specific unique orbs and you need a grand total of, I should say here, 6,540 small orbs, 3,530 medium orbs, and 346 large orbs to rainbow the, the Piccolo. So yeah, just farm the crap out of stage three and you wanna get a total of, uh, once again, 19 copies of this Piccolo, but you don't actually need to farm that many copies uh, because there are missions here that give you up to 12 Piccolos for free. Okay, so you get four for unlocking his hidden potential paths, and then you get eight more for uh, activating his hidden potential system, and it's one for each 10% activated. So you get up to 12 here. So technically, you only need to farm uh, seven copies of the Piccolo. But of course, as you're going through this stage here, and getting the orbs, you're probably gonna pick up a few more, but 19 in total is what you need from the missions plus the stages combined, right? So you use 10 of the Piccolos for a Super Attack 10 Piccolo, five for the uh, Super Attack 5 Piccolo for Super Attack Fodder, and then four additional for the Hidden Potential Roots, okay? So uh, just like the Bardock, you wanna get both the Super Attack 10 Piccolo and the Super Attack 5 Piccolo to UR status or Z Awaken them, and then feed in your four extra Piccolos into the Super Attack 10 Piccolos hidden potential system, give him his special orbs to rainbow him, and then token awaken both of them with these nail medals, which can be acquired through stage uh, six 
of the event. And there's also, I believe, oh, never mind, there's no boost category. Okay, so uh, you basically can do this with any team you want to. And once you have 10 nail medals, Dokken Awaken both of your uh, Piccolos, and then you want to go over to the Extreme Z battle event for this Piccolo. So unlike other free-to-play units, this Piccolo does have an Extreme Z battle as opposed to an Extreme Z area. And the weakness for this Extreme Z battle is Namekians. So if you can, build a good Namekians team. If not, then just use uh, a decent like Extreme tech team and you should be good to go. And go through the stages, you're getting some medals, some orbs, some Kai's along the way. And once you complete all 30 levels of this event, or at least the first 30, you'll get enough medals to fully Extreme Z Awaken the Piccolo, get some orbs, 30 stones, and then you go back to your Super Attack 10 Piccolo and fully Extreme Z Awaken him. And once he's fully Extreme Z Awakened, just feed in the Super Attack 5 Piccolo into your main Piccolo for a rainbowed Fully Extreme Z Awakened, Super Attack 15, AGL Piccolo. Okay, so that's two down, or I guess technically three down, including the uh, Super Saiyan Goku. So three more to go. And the next one here is the STR Krillin. Now this Krillin is actually pretty simple. He's available through the Baba Shop, or at least his pre-awakened form is. This Krillin right here, for 300 incredible gems per copy. And he can be purchased up to 10 times. But technically, you only need six copies so that's going to be 1800 incredible gems now i know that seems like a lot and it kind of is but i believe recently we got a few new missions that give you up to 900 incredible gems so that's going to be a decent start that's going to be three copies of krillin right there and then for the remaining copies if you still need more gems you're going to have to farm the story mode so if you guys are in that situation then feel free to go check out a video that i made a few months ago i'll put a link above my head once again uh, talking about the best story stage to farm incredible gems. All right, so uh, once you have your six copies of the Krillin from the Baba Shop, you want to use five of them for your main copy, obviously four for the hidden potential system, and then the additional Krillin is for your uh, super attack fodder. And after that, you want to farm either the Prime Battle Fizz Krillin or this uh, Hair Krillin from the Bio Broly story event. Both of them can be used to raise Krillin's super attack levels. So farm up as many copies of these Krillin's as you need to get your uh, main Krillin to super attack 10 and then your side Krillin to super attack five and see awaken both of them. And then token awaken both of them with these Krillin medals right here. And they're available through the Saiyan Saga story event, specifically stage, let me check, uh, stage eight. Okay, so you wanna farm stage eight and the boost category here, Inhuman Deeds, the greatest category name of all time. And once you get your 14 Krillin medals, Token Awaken both the Super Attack 10 Krillin and the Super Attack uh, 5 Krillin. And now you have to Extreme Z Awaken your Super Attack 10 Krillin, right? So um, you don't actually have to farm an Extreme Z battle or Extreme Z area event. You just have to go over to the Baba Shop and use some more incredible gems to buy these Baba medals. Okay, so the bronze medals are one uh, gem each, the silver medals are two gems, gold medals are three, and silver medals, or uh, rather rainbow medals, are four. And in total, you have to buy 15 of the bronze medals, 30 or 40 of the silver, 30 of the gold, and 30 of the rainbow. So once again, if you guys need those incredible gems, you're gonna have to farm them from the story mode. And uh, when you get the medals, fully Extreme Z Awaken your main Super Attack 10 Krillin, and then feed in the Super Attack 5 Krillin into the main Krillin to complete this guy as well. Of course, uh, feed him the STR orbs to rainbow him too. Um, he doesn't have his own orbs, unfortunately, so you will have to use normal STR orbs. And uh, that's it for this guy right here. Now, moving on to the second last guy, which is the uh, STR Kaioken Goku. He's available through the Lord Slug story event. And specifically, we're talking about stage number uh, four. So farm stage four for, once again, 19 copies of this Goku. And the increased drop category is Namekians. So once you have 19 copies, use 10 Gokus for your main Super Attack 10 Goku, five for the Super Attack five fodder Goku, and then four more 
for the hidden potential system, so start by Z awakening your Super Attack 10 Goku and your Super Attack 5 Goku to UR status, and then feed in the uh, you know four extra dupes into the Super Attack 10 Goku's hidden potential system, and give him the STR orbs to rainbow him at this point. Um, he doesn't have his own orbs, so you will have to use normal STR orbs once again, and then you have to token awaken both Gokus with these Kaioken Goku medals from the story event stage uh, 6. Get 40 medals from stage 6 and then token awaken both your Gokus. And now you have to go over to the Extreme Z area event to uh, Extreme Z awaken this Goku. Okay, so the Extreme Z area event is right here. And this is for both the Lord Slug and the Kaioken Goku, but the only one you have to worry about Actually, no, at this point, you should have the Lord Slug Extreme Z Awaken since he's necessary for the Super Saiyan Goku's Extreme Z Awakening, like the, the Prime Battle one. So uh, you only have to focus on Stage 1 right here because that's where you get the uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Kaioken Goku, right? I'll give you guys a quick look at the uh, list of characters you're allowed to bring. This is the full pool, and you have to have both the Lord Slug as well as the Kaioken Goku on your team to challenge the event. And uh, of course, Z Hard is for your um, silver and bronze medals. And then the super difficulty is for your gold and rainbow medals. And in total, you're gonna need 15 bronze medals, 40 silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow. So give all those medals to your Super Attack 10 rainbowed Kaoken Goku, fully extreme Z awaken him, and then feed the Super Attack 5 Goku into the main Goku for a Super Attack 15 Goku. And this guy is also now done. And finally, we have this man right here, or this kid right here, the STR uh, Kid Gohan. And uh, he awakens from this Kid Gohan right here, who's available through the Planet Namek Saga story event, specifically stage one. And the increased drop category here is nothing because there isn't one. So farm stage one for 19 copies of this Kid Gohan, and then you can farm stage 8 for the uh, orbs for the Gohan. So just like the Piccolo, this kid has his own orbs, and uh, I believe the necessary orbs or the required orbs are exactly the same. 6,540 small, 3,530 medium, and 346 large. So farm all the orbs you need from stage 8, farm all the Gohans you need from stage 1, that's 19 copies, Use 10 for a main Super Attack 10 Gohan, 5 for a fodder Super Attack 5 Gohan, and then 4 additional for his hidden potential system. Z awaken both the Gohans, feed in the dupes into your Super Attack 10 Gohan, and then give him the uh, special orbs to rainbow him. And then you want to token awaken both your Gohans with these Gohan medals, which are available through stage uh, 7 of the Namek Saga story event. So token awaken both, you need 10 medals in total. And then to Extreme Z awaken this kid, he has his own Extreme Z battle event, just like the Piccolo. The weakness here is Planet Namek Saga, but of course you can just use a decent super type team and uh, you should be good to go. Specifically, a super STR team would be best here. And if you complete the first 30 stages, I do recommend that you complete up to level 100 because you're getting a bunch of orbs and also Kai's along the way, but you only need to do stages 1 to 30 to get um, all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Kid Gohan. Okay, so if you don't have the time or you don't have the patience, just do the first 30 stages, get all the Extreme Z Awakening medals, and then Extreme Z Awaken your Super Attack 10 Gohan and feed in the Super Attack 5 Gohan to get him to Super Attack 15. All right, and that is pretty much it, guys. That completes the process for all six of the um, required units for the Prime Battle Frieza's Extreme Z Area event. Once again, I don't have the time to explain the entire thing for this uh, Super Saiyan Goku in this video, but I do have a guide from a couple months ago that you can definitely check out if you still need to complete him. And uh, yeah, once you have your team, all six guys, fully rainbowed, fully Extreme Z Awakened, ideally Super Attack 15 or 25 in his case. Then you can challenge the Extreme Z area event for the Frieza once it drops on February 15th or at some point in the future when it comes back. And uh, just farm the event until you have 45 
of the Extreme Z Awakening medals. And there are three steps in total for his Extreme Z Awakening, right? Step one is 10 medals, step two is 15 medals, step three is 20 medals. Complete those three steps, and then you will have yourself a fully Extreme Z Awakened Super Attack 20 um, Frieza. Now, his max Super Attack level will go up to 25. So, once again, you have to make a decision here. Do you want to be lazy, or, I mean, just be sane, I guess? and uh, use 5 Kai's to get him to Super Attack 25 from 20? Or do you want to farm a third LR First Form Frieza uh, at Super Attack 5 to feed into your main Frieza to get him to Super Attack 25? I'm going to leave that up to you. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm definitely not going to be farming the third Frieza, but, uh, you know, it's your game. It's your life, right? So uh, after you get him to Super Attack 25, you will be completely done. You will have an absolute monster of a free-to-play unit on your hands. Okay, so let's quickly go over his details. Uh, with the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is going to be Extreme Class Key Plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, or Super Class Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. The 12 Key Super greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Colossal Damage, and 18 Key Super causes Mega Colossal Damage and greatly lowers Attack and Defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 50%, key plus 3, plus an additional defense plus 50% as the first or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus 3 when attacking super class enemies. His links are strongest client in space, universes most malevolent, metamorphosis, thirst of conquest, big bad bosses, fear and faith, and legendary power. And categories are planet dynamic saga, transformation boost, wicked bloodline, dragon ball seekers, Terrifying Conquerors, Inhuman Deeds, and Space Traveling Warriors. In terms of his hidden potential system, his hidden potential skills, I would recommend to focus on critical hits and then additionals. So mostly crits, some additional. If you want, you can give him level three dodge. That's totally up to you, but I usually don't do that for my units. But uh, yeah, with this guy, I think he does benefit most from as many criticals as possible. If you want to do a little bit more of a balance, between crits and additionals, um, it's not a terrible idea because he does greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on his 12 key super, right? So if you get the 18 key super first and then get an additional 12 key super, then he's going to be more tanky that turn, right? So um, yeah, it's your call. I'm probably still going to go like 20 crit, 6 additional, but I don't see anything wrong with um, a little bit more of a balance build. And uh, yeah, guys, that is gonna be today's guide that is gonna be the video like I said it's a very long process it's a very painful process it's definitely the hardest thing you could possibly do I mean it's not really that hard it's more so just the time commitment right it's definitely the biggest time commitment the biggest time sink in the game right now but ultimately I think the Frieza is worth it and uh, I wish you guys the best of luck over the next couple of days or a couple of weeks, I will be hosting multiple streams on the channel to, uh, you know, do my farming and get my team prepared. So if you guys want somebody to farm with you to make the whole thing go by a little bit faster, to make it a little bit less painful, then make sure to uh, keep an eye out for those streams, okay? And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this guide helped you at least a little bit. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out